What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 campaign as the Swedish Empire. And to pick up where we left off, we are launching our attack south towards Stuttgart and Munich uh, with Prussian swords at our back. So we want to definitely want to push before they get into the, the into the mix um, so they don't grab any frontier territories from us and cause issues later on. Especially as... So I want to take Stuttgart. I need to knock out this small force here, which I'll probably do with an auto-resolve from the Strasbourg garrison. Then they will reform and push on towards Luzerne. This force I want to take Stuttgart, and ideally have them replenish as much as possible before swinging southeast towards Innsbruck and try to attack Munich and Innsbruck at the same time. So I don't want to attack Munich and have one of these forces drive northwest like so. But they do have Napoleon Bonaparte in Munich. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. First of all, let's take out Stuttgart. they got a lot of generals here. A lot of cavalry. Some interesting infantry, but I don't think it will be enough to stop us. So let's capture the city of Stuttgart and continue driving east. And especially because I know I'm going to be fighting against the combined strength of the Allies. I'm going to want to try and capture as much territory as possible before that happens and we are close to ending the existence of the French Empire so I like this high ground up here my 12s might actually deploy onto this hill well this this bit of raised ground let's create a composite Frontline unit. Let's use our Finnish troops plus the unit of guards on the right flank. Plus our light infantry, lifeguard, and foot jäger on the left. And then we can combine or split up our heavy cavalry on the flanks. Especially to provide cover for our long 12s. Then we can drop our howitzers behind the main line where they will advance. And our general, new general, a green Avoid army, quiet you. Oh no no, hold on. Who did I do that for? Don't know why you'd want to dismount your general. Okay, so, you men, advance. We do not fear the Spanish. My long 12s look like they can't even engage at that range. Let's get my cavalry ahead of these trees. That should give us excellent visibility. No, they can't do anything, so limber up. Get those horses around. Hello, horse guards. Get my cavalry into the cover of the woods. These troops on the left may not want to curve around so much. Enemy charge. My horse guards outnumber theirs. And they're running, so they're going to be a bit knackered before they get to us. Which is good for us. Yeah, so the seventh light horse have shown themselves. I mean... Sure, you can go for my infantry line if you like. I'll just drop them into squares. Let's walk my cavalry. So my light cavalry going in to fix them in position. Well, you're 
we're all gonna drop into square just for now. To be honest, my heavy cavalry can actually relocate. It looks like they're gonna by trying to flee from my light horse, they're gonna run into my squares. You can't deploy into square, but that's okay. So you can't deploy into square, which is a bit of a bummer. Now you can. I mean, get my light cavalry out of there. If they're going to run straight into our squares like that, we would be fools to not let them. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Yeah, one of them. Push up my left flank. Oh god, I don't even see this fight. I am such a goon. I was so enthralled. That general staff is hitting my front line, but that's okay. Push my cavalry up. Let's get my light horse to fall back through my horse guard. That's my artillery Our men over there. Are running, sir. Yeah, that's fair enough. I wanted to get my cavalry back to face off against the general staff. My light cavalry will probably come back. Yeah, there goes the enemy's general staff. So let's advance up our front line, because it looks like. Are you deploying stakes? We sure are. No, don't bother, horse guards. It looks like they're gonna... They can't make up their mind of what they want to do. Bring my heavy cavalry back, because it looks like... They're expanding their strength on the right. Drive my howitzers further up the front. cavalry out wide again. There we go. My light cavalry came back, so push the flank. Nibugilinia, the Voluntarios, and more Voluntarios. They are pushing the right, so I want to advance on the left. Halt, men. Just engage the light horse with your muskets, militiamen. Engage! There they go. Let's get my heavies out wide as well. Yeah, look, they immediately just go, ah, infantry, not in square, let's go for them. Just fire forward like the broadside from a gun. There we go, because those men might just about hit that square. Perfect. You men have to smack the foot, guard, foot guards now. You men... Combine on the Voluntarios, because it looks like they are going to push the right flank. Get my howitzers out and firing. Let's get... These men out of square. Push up. Pull the cavalry back. Men are fatigued, sir, I'm sure they are. 
my howitzers need to engage. Kill the Voluntarios. Let's then advance up our front line. Drive a wedge between their two armies. The men of the teams are a must rest of I'm sure they are. How oh, it's to hit the sixth because they're weak for the moment. There go the volunteers. Another unit of volunteers is standing by. They're routing through our cavalry unit, which is bold of them. Keep killing them. There's another unit on our... Oh my god. You men. About face. Okay, so get our cavalry just to clear out. Go on the foot guards. Let's get these howitzers to try hit the general staff with... I mean, I don't know why they're, they're not attacking. They look like they're bugged. Let's... See if we can hit them with canister shot. I don't think we can. Skirmishes to the rear. Get my infantry to attack the general staff. Maintain our advance. Human fire will back on again. Come on, put Jaeger. Excellent stuff. Yeah, attack the general staff. Yeah, they've broken. Let's try withdraw a little bit more just to try and see if we can get a bit more of our stamina back. Oh yeah, I forgot. And my, gen my general's all the way back here. So let's bring him forward. Actually, he can probably deal with it himself, because it looks like they are bugged. Because my guys are exhausted, so I don't want, to, don't want my cavalry running around too much. These guys are tired and winded. These are my foot guards on the flank here. There we go. That's the infantry de linea wiped out. Let's get my light horse to trot towards their guns. Let's take one more unit of infantry to continue to push the Tirador. Tirador? Tirador. Three infantry units advance towards the volunteers. My horse guards are now active, so they're going to slam into the six foot guards, and then we're going to push them up. And well, then we can move these guys around to try and circle some more of these troops. Okay, let's keep you guys together as a unit to fight. Firstly against the light foot, then against the regiment of foot here. Send my general in against their general. Huh. So we couldn't... We couldn't... <laughs> my general sucks. Oh, and he died. Oh well. Get my light cavalry to chase them down. They might go for my howitzers actually now. 
So, there we go, the foot guards have been wiped out. Withdraw my heavies, advance my infantry up. These are foot guards, these are light foot. Okay, so bring the horse guards down here. Even advance onto the horse artillery here. Nope, they then got... That's mighty strange. So I will let my... just let my... I could, theoretically, unlimber my 12s and engage, but that'll probably just do more damage to my... Uh, to my, uh, my own artillery. My light horse... well, focus on the artillery. My heavy cavalry is still exhausted, so they might not get involved as much as we would like. Okay, keep the manoeuvre warfare going. There we go, the enemy cavalry's gone. You guys all go after that Union of General Staff. You men collectively should wipe out the 14th Lightfoot. Yeah, my cavalry broke from exhaustion. Horse guards, okay, they're active again. So we can slam them into the 11th Grenadier Regiment. General's unit is routed. Trot my cavalry away from the 31st Regiment of Foot. Unit is wavering. My general staff has returned. Although without the general, they're not quite as useful. So let's advance my lifeguards up to face off against the light foot. My light dragoons are back. That infantry unit's been dealt with. Pivot to face off against the 18th. The 11th will probably rout very soon. These tier Tirador are not going to last very long either. Advance up on the flanks. There we go. There goes the seventh. To be honest, you guys are just going to sit here, gather your strength with the eleventh in support to charge down the thirty-first regiment of foot, who are already exhausted. So I don't think they're going to they're going to uh, stick around for too long. You guys are dead keen to go after my artillery, but for whatever reason, you are stuck. Okay, these men can form a front line to face off against any of those units that decides to return. My howitzers are engaging the men in the centre. There you go, my light horse can go after the general staff. Green force requires a new commander. Cool. Foot guards took a bit of a hammering at close range. But if they make ready. Yes. As we keep the pressure up, keep advancing, keep spreading our troops out around the enemy. Exhausted, exhausted. Winded. At the very least, these troops on the flank should be able to do 
they'll be ready to fight against the bloody first foot. My heart says if they can try and attack the pikemen. Yeah, see a couple of these units have already come back, or are coming back. So I might actually keep cavalry units in here in reserve. They're electing to manoeuvre, so also manoeuvre. Use this as an opportunity to close range, close distance. going to last very long in the field. Okay, let's divvy up our effort. There we go, the 18th Regiment has been broken. go. Very tired, very tired. Trot towards the enemy. Yeah, the seventh foot guards have broken again. And the light foot have broken again because they're very, they're very, very tired. And all the remains is the 31st regiment of foot. Yeah, they got how it's a fire. Good hit. Yeah, they're concerned because they're exhausted. My guys, fortunately, are more just tired. But let's run them the last few yards to make sure they get into position before the enemy do. Like this regiment of Finska in, in Delat. 40th Regiment, the 18th and the 17th. Good men, they're going to see them off. No trouble. I mean, the cavalry you might just attack the Tirador. Oh, I might have taken a bit of friendly fire there, but this regiment's going to do a land a devastating blow at such close range. are actually just shaken because they're taking some good damage at close range and they're exhausted I thought they were forming square for a moment <laughs> oh well there we go the Spaniards have been wiped from the field and all of their troops are scattering into the winds so Stuttgart is taken and that's the first, sta first stage on our attack. So yes, I lost my general, so we're going to loot. Rebuild government buildings. Oh, moot noise. I don't know why the, the game elects to make that horrible noise. Let's recruit a new general. Do I get the petty tyrant? No, I really don't like that morale penalty. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. But the attrition might be handy. The movement range would be handy. But again, this seems to be a this seems to be a total war that morale is king. So then, the force at Strasbourg. You can leave Strasbourg and attack this force. What? How gracious of them! They route past us further into our own territory. So I have to stop. I know what I might do. No. I was to say, do I make peace with them? But I don't think I do. You're positioning to help wipe out those guns. You, I'm fairly sure, are just going to try and cross through our territory. I would have gone for Pamplona, but we can't yet leave Bordeaux without them being incredibly upset. And the same most likely goes for Toulouse. Yep, they are not happy with us one bit. Marseille, we could probably advance. We can, and we can also pick up our cavalry from here and advance towards Torino. So we've got some visibility on what's going on in Milan. There's lots of elite French troops here. 
got to go. You have to take Corsica at some point, but victory on the continent is more important. I might upgrade, continue to upgrade this Masonic Lodge because spies are incredibly useful. You are going to stand here and defend in the event that you are attacked by the French. I do want this force to replenish and then drive south and hit Innsbruck, or at least siege Innsbruck. Innsbruck. Enemy army withdraws. Yes, I know you did, you Spanish fool. In terms of our other efforts, our militia are all going to... To be honest, that's not quite so much... Cleves isn't quite so in danger as it was before. Yeah, they're all going to bump into each other and say, Hey, I'm stuck! Gah, like the proper Three Stooges territory. Um, now you're going to move and position your... Oh, hmm. So you're going to position yourselves here, ready to fight against the... Actually, all of you guys might go into Hanover. No. Hmm... So I do want to try and knock out Britain, but I think I do want an army here. Before that happens, I need to solidify my front line against the Prussians. So I, do, I think, yeah, dropping you here is a good idea to f either to push against Schwerin or to hold Hanover. Uh, but we've got, got some good options here. And we need to keep our recruitment going. Pair darling. Hello, darling. Let's try a little leave guard. Good. Let's get two foot Jaeger. And let's get a unit of Bjornborg. Bjornborg. So you're going to continue replenishing or recruiting troops because we need a ludicrous amount of men. So in terms of tech, everything's going along pretty well. Nothing to worry about in the short term there. Yeah, Mr. Neumann died charging down the enemy ch the enemy general's staff. Ooh! Do I want to intercept them into action? Absolutely I do. Come at me, Napoleon. Let's do this. <laughs> Napoleon and a bunch of generals. They got some artillery, so we don't we need to might, might want to be a bit careful about how we set up our defences, but apart from that, let's bring in Napoleon. Let's try kill him again. I am a Napoleon. Nappy bony. Okay, terrible, terrible ground. I don't want to hold the town. I want to be out in the open where I can use my advantage in numbers. But let's put my in delta and militia to act kind of actually that's too many something like that where I could put my foot Jaeger inside the house to hold our left flank yes yeah, so you're in position militia put down trenches because you can my six is going to advance up to this position I'm going to put two units of infantry between them. My 12s may advance between next to next to them. And then we can put these men on the right flank. With the bulk of my cavalry to join them on the right flank. I'm going to have one unit of hussars to hold the left. Mr. Skolderbrand in the centre. My howitzers deploy here and open fire off the bat. So my 6 is up here. New men to position like so. My 12s go there. My elite right flank cover there. Get my cavalry out wide. Yeah, 12 pound French facade, chasseur cheval, six guard, six pounders. Across the board. 
howitzers are firing. So if my howitzers are firing, my sixes are in range, which is good news. Bad news for their dragoons. Eh, not so sure about those dragoon uniforms. Where's the ones I like the most? No, can't see. They don't have any of them in this action. You men engage the voltages. Howitzers dropping against the horse guards. Good shot. Let's get my infantry to run. Strictly speaking, I should probably try and do... Okay, we can't quite reach the 12s. Shells against the Dragoons? Yes! Plenty of cavalry, should you decide to continue to push this flank. Got some quite elite enemy guns, which would be nice to kill. Form defences! See them off so our 12s can continue their Let's halt fire with halt my 12s so they don't continue to advance let's just knock them out for now voltage bavarian line infantry guard national get my 12s up into position get my infantry here too. Yeah, my Fort Jaeger standing ready. There's Napoleon's stupid balloon. Good, they're starting to limber up their guns. So it looks like you can hold down spacebar. When you see that red line, it means they are successfully engaging that particular unit. So, get my 12s to unlimber. Voltages are skirmishing us. There's not a lot we can do about it except blast them with my canister shot, which we are doing sort of well. So my gunners attack the enemy to the rear. As soon as they advance any closer, these facades. Okay, good. You guys need to limber up, actually, because... I want to get more of the... infantry to bear. drop these men into square finally because they were a bit vulnerable let's dispatch two of our cavalry towards the enemy rear the voltages are still ready chasse oh hello let's have a look at them no they're not the ones i'm looking for but they're pretty nice too
So let's get our men out of formation. To be honest, I'm just it is just infantry is king. Scale twelve's up on the hill to the rear. To be honest, I probably want to do this as well. All of these units can form square, so if their cavalry decide to come after us. Chasseur Cheval, Horse Guards. Alright, I might need all my cavalry then to deliver that, that kind of counterpunch against that concentration of cavalry. Especially against the Le Gros Frere. Where's Napoleon himself? I think he's back amongst this block, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. There's your man. Blast him! General's going to get over to the here to support my men. You men advance. I mean, I don't think that's Napoleon, is it? No, they're both just just generic general staff. There we go. Push back the French dogs. It's just their guard militia, the Bavarian line infantry. The gr French grenadiers are moving into position. If I say we killed, not Napoleon, not Nappy Boney. Foot Jaeger, let's get them involved. Just because they've got good range. So, fortunately, the third foot guards can drop into square. So that can do a lot of damage to their cavalry. The militia, the Vavade infantry, are, are, are exposed because they're being attacked in the rear. Artillery ceasefire. This is now a job for the bayonet. My 12s are at the rear, they can unlimber. Your militiamen, engage whatever targets you can. That includes the Voltageur, the Confederation of the Rhine Landwehr. Traitors, the lot of them. Withdraw the cavalry. Armel Granville. Napoleon's still back there. So my 12s give them the order to attack and those 12 pounders, which they're quite happy to do. Okay, let's start to split our fire. Fifth Grenadier and the Sixth Grenadier. Go on, Varvade Infantry. Let's pivot you. The Light Horse are starting to get involved. New men aren't firing.
advance these units up here. Attack the light horse. New men drop into square. To be honest, it looks like they just want to go for my foot guard unit, so let them stay in square. There go the grenadiers. He'll be fine. So much so, my cavalry is going to go and push the enemy. The enemy guns are going to go down. These French grenadiers have routed. A couple more units that look like they are going to come back. So these men form line this side of the square. Charge the horse guards because it looks like they have elected to abandon the battle for the square. So now my cavalry is going to get into the fight. So I want to get my general over here rapidly. Twelves are still engaging. Inspire. Rally! Our men are running, sir. Oh, because the militia are underneath a building that got squashed. Fair enough. At the very least, my general's nearby. Theirs isn't. My infantry line is advancing up. Although it looks like they're heavy cavalry. I mean, to be honest, most of this cavalry is light. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Yeah, there they go. Not unexpected, really. These are horse guards, heavy cavalrymen. So let's pull our general back. Let us redraw this line. my horse guards attack the, the light horse because it looks like their cuirassier are abandoning the engagement so here yeah, we go so we routed them so my heavy cavalry can continue to advance forward my 12s currently slamming shells into the rear over here pick a target that's actually more in the centre of town Those some of those may come back 15th horse guards are... Uh, just get into the woods and hide horse guards. As they advance forward, they're just getting... shot to pieces. Yeah, the militia's come back, and this cavalry hasn't been used at all on the left flank. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Might give them an order to advance through the town. Yes, my lights are back as well. Okay, let's not... Let's not get too comfortable with withdrawing. Yeah, <laughs> too many militiamen died because that stable collapsed. Let's trot the cavalry up. The enemy cavalry have been destroyed. My main troops, including my militia, open fire. French Grenadiers, Militia, Power to Fire landing in and doing a fantastic job. If they're going to attempt a bayonet charge, they will have to be very careful. Let's 
try to get our cavalry into combat before the 29th Light Horse get over here. There we go. The core of the French army are running. Some of them stoically marching away. Get my 12s to shoot at the light horse. You men go after... To be honest, is Napoleon... He is exhausted, which is good. Who's left? There's Union of Guard Militia. Because these Hussars, yeah, they're in good shape. Napoleon's causing them to stand, but we want to kill them. Bayonet charge the Guard Nationale. And hold back. Bring my hussars in to hit Napoleon with all of our strength, because we want to make sure he dies. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but I want to kill him. I don't want him to run away. And you're exhausted. My hussar regiment here is active, because they've not done anything the entire engagement. We have killed their generals. Now they must play. There we go. There goes Nappy Boney. Get my cavalry to carry on here. You men all form squags. It looks like the light hussars are going after the uh, infantry. All the units in the town are port falling back. It's only the light horse that's alive. And it looks like they want to suicide charge into my uh, cavalry. Into my infantry squares, I should say. There we go. Continue to attack and engage the artillery. Yep, here come the light horse. Will they make it to our line? How well does this guy do? Not very well. Obviously a gun team has come back. They can't just stay dead, can they? Napoleon's dead. You have no one left to fight for. Huzzah! But there we go, Napoleon's force, battered and bruised, sent scuttling back across the bridge to Munich. We are going to take our position on the bridge. Yeah, raiders. I mean, if they could take Paris, that would be such a kick in the nuts. The entire city of Paris, there's one gun team nearby, and it's like, hey, everyone stand back. Yeah, look, they're going for Prussia. They're going for Munich. Don't hit the city. Uh, no, I'm not going to help them. Damn! Damn, damn, damn. Well, there we go. That's our new front line against the, uh, the enemy. Oh, no. Okay, this army needs to fall back to Marseille rapidly because the Spanish... Oh, God! Uh... I'm not going to surrender. I'm not going to fight either. I'm just going to let it happen. Curse you, Spain. Curse you. See, look, they could just run past it. That's so lame, sucky. I mean, not Castle. That's fair enough. That's just me with a, that's a blind spot in my line. So you are going to stay here. 
Stuttgart Garrison, this area is now technically safe. Technically. This general can go hit this 12-pounder unit that's deciding to put the city under siege. It says we might not win. It's a damn gun team. You men get into Paris. This is the concern here. All of you men get into Hanover. Deposit our army off of the coast. I mean, you probably can't leave Stuttgart, can you? Not without it falling. Now we've got this force. They'll get to Hanover. They can get to... There's two turns. Not ideal at all. You may attempt to try and actually cut them off. Abandon the pursuit at Switzerland for now. You need to come back to Marseille. Because we have Simon Mar Marin pushing near Toulouse, but you guys can replenish. With Marseille covered, we should be fine. You men get to Paris. Can the force at Bordeaux leave Bordeaux? Minus four for the public. For the lower classes, not yet. But we want to push on and hit Pamplona. Stop bringing the war to Spain, because they seem to be doing quite a good job at bringing it to us, which isn't what we want to see. Get the Carronade Frigate back up to Finland. So you create recruits... Uh, do, do, do. Three more Bjornborg. You're starting to recruit your new force. They may elect to push straight on into Hanover, which if they do, we might have to fight that. I'm hoping they can't march forward with their full strength. So we've dealt with most of these. Steam-powered factories in, have been built. Recruitment ongoing. Heinrich Odegaard. I'm presuming that's how you pronounce it. It might be just... Carl von Doblin, General. Plus two to morale. Good. Okay. Let's hit in turn. Let's see just how badly the uh, Spanish penetration is for us. I want to at least move this army south and take Innsbruck. They're probably going to go march and try and hit that Spanish territory there as well. Let's see what Russia elects to do. Reino de España. Don't worry, we're going to come after you. You're not good. We're not going to take this line down. And it looks like they really don't want to leave that, uh, move that army out of Madrid, which is good for us. Yeah, that's still a reinforcement line. Were they going to put Toulouse under siege? They are. Don't go to Cleves. Good, they secured the bridge instead. Flanders and Bologna. So you men advance forward and infiltrate Vienna. You... Oh, they blocked off the bridge. They're a crafty bunch. Right. I don't know, to be honest, this isn't actually a bad front line to have against the... The Prussians. It's not good. I would rather have more space. But this force, Finn, Finn, you can march south to put Castle under siege. Lars Roma. Actually, right. We might better do some shenanigans here. Can you march up to here? 
Ideally here. I don't know if you're within range to attack. So yeah, Strasbourg's unhappy. Mr. Skoldebrand to go west and hit Stuttgart. Let's get my spy here to go to infiltrate Berlin. That's where we need to start sending our agents to get some good intelligence on what's going on. They might decide to go for Strasbourg. Don't think so. We will want to fight this action here and push back Jose Coronado. Um, but first, we'll take Mr. Roma. Oh, you can't hit them. Neither can you. But he's got two armies nearby. They can't really do get to much trouble. Okay, so then let's go down to Toulouse. Get Rune Almquist. And let's push back this Spanish army that's trying to siege us. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the defense of Toulouse. Cheers, everyone.